Oceans and seas cover around 70% of Earth's surface. The Mediterranean Sea, regarded as largest and deepest enclosed sea on our planet, represents a marine biodiversity hotspot. Among marine organisms, macroalgae, also called seaweeds, are these macroscopic, photosynthetic, multicellular algae that grow along rocky shores. Their diversity in the Mediterranean Sea is relatively well characterized, with more than 1,100 of described species. With global warming and human impacts threatening the preservation of resources and ecosystems, developing sustainable blue growth strategies for the Mediterranean Sea becomes a priority on regional and local scales. Seaweeds play an important role in maintaining the ecological balance. They are among most efficient organisms at turning carbon dioxide and sunlight into biomass. Their potential for sustainable cultivation and use as natural renewable resources for several industrial applications make them a very relevant resource for blue economy development. The National Institute of Marine Sciences and Technologies has undertaken several research activities to demonstrate the valuable potential of seaweeds from Tunisian coasts. Ficocoloids are divided into three groups, alginites, caraginans and agars. They are used in different fields such as food industry, cosmetic, pharmacy and medicine. Here we are interested especially in agar which is obtained from red seaweeds such as Gracilaria. The main steps of agar extraction process consist of harvesting the algae from Bizert Lagoon. Samples are cleaned, sun-dried and oven-dried at 60 degrees until constant weight is obtained. Next, algae are treated with acid solution for two hours at room temperature, rinsed and then heated in alkaline solution at 100 degrees for 80 minutes. Filtration of seaweeds is then performed using a vacuum pump. The filtrate obtained is allowed to freeze during 24 hours. Next day, the foam gel is thawed and then oven dried at 105 degrees for 24 hours. At the end, agar obtained is weighed to assess the yield, milled and stored for further analysis. Ficoerythrin is an accessory pigment within an algae. It's used mainly in uh, the elementary industries as a natural dye. It has a high antioxidant power and it can also be used in the immunological field. For the air ficoerythrin extraction, we need to have first rhodophytes, of course. Uh, it was collected in the Bizert Lagoon in the north of Tunisia. It was carried to the lab in a covered sea tanks, uh, in darkness, of course and then it was gutted and cleaned from epiphytes to have an homogeneous sample. And after that, it was frozen for a later use. The fact is then incubated in uh, this kind of system. Uh, the temperature was kept for stable at 40%. Uh, the cellular uh, loading was about 15% and the glylanase loading was about 5%. And the system is uh, an enzymatic hydrolysis for six hours. Centrifuged at 4,000 RPM for 20 minutes and at room temperature. Mm. The supernated is taken and spectrophotometrically uh, analyzed and the content of the alpha coagene is uh, calculated. Glucosantin is another pigment of high added value that can be extracted from brown seaweeds. It is a carotenoid pigment and as such it has antioxidant and anti-cancer properties. But it also has been demonstrated to have anti-diabetic and anti-obesity activities. Steps of extraction of this pigment are First of all, fresh brown seaweed biomass. From Mediterranean species, its extraction from sargassum or dictyotal could be considered for economical exploitation. Classical extraction involves organic solvents, generally methanol, and 48 to 72 hours maceration. The organic extract is then obtained by evaporation under low pressure and temperature. The purification is made by chromatography. For high purity compound, HPLC, high pressure liquid chromatography, is needed. Now, we are exploring greener and environmentally friendly extraction technologies 
by the use of supercritical carbon dioxide extraction method. In this technology, by applying specific conditions of temperature and pressure, carbon dioxide becomes a non-toxic solvent, allowing the extraction of seaweed metabolites. Our recent results showed that this technique can be applied to Mediterranean seaweeds to extract this pigment. Seaweeds grow in environmental conditions which can be extreme in several cases, and this makes them a source of distinctive bioactive secondary metabolites. These metabolites are of different types, phenolic compounds, sterols, fatty acids, or allogenated compounds. As part of our research activity, we explore seaweed bioactive compounds that can have different properties such as antioxidant, antibiotics, or antifouling. These marine natural compounds can be used in different industrial applications, like nutraceuticals, cosmetics, or antifouling paints. Among other uses of seaweeds, we talk about fertilizer. Fertilizer is a seaweed liquid extract, which is prepared either from fresh seaweed raw material or from the leftover biomass obtained after extraction of added value products, such as pigments, uh, oil, uh, carbohydrates uh, from seaweeds. Uh, this extract contains uh, a lot of nutrients. One potential mark, market of this nutrient-rich biomass is a biofertilizer for agriculture. To prepare this extract, uh, the dried and grinded algae, in our case we used uh, the green seaweed Ketomorphalinum, which is very abundant in our uh, Tunisian coast, uh, is added with distilled water and is then incubated in a water bath at 40 degrees. The contents were filtered, centrifuged, and the supernatant was stored at 4 degrees in a refrigerator for further use. Chemical properties determination of ketomorphalinum extract demonstrated that the extract is rich in mineral elements, especially with nutrients such as nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, sodium, and magnesium. Also, it can contain compounds like hormones that promote germination, leaves and steam growth flowering or can be used as a biological protection agent against plant diseases. Many trials have been conducted on the effect of this extract on the seed germination yield and pigment characteristics of different crops. In our laboratory, the chickpea and the drum wheat were investigated. Application of this extract at low concentration showed maximum seed germination, root and shoot length and pigment contents. Our project has main objective the development of technologies for the manufacture of biodegradable and ecological plastic based on marine algae. We prospect collection sites, we choose algae species, then polysaccharides are extracted and the formula of bioplastic is optimized. Since the polymer that we use comes directly from biomass, so other compounds have to be incorporated to the base product, polymer uh, plasticizer, in order to strengthen its structure. These bioplastic films contain between 50 and 70% of natural polymers. According to their properties, these films may be used as dry food packaging. Also, these films uh, are totally biodegraded in seawater and in sediment in a period of one month. This action aims to be an outline solution to the petrochemical plastic that causes the huge environmental pollution. And we plan to continue working by expanding the range of bioplastic use. These were a few examples of possible uses of seaweed. The opportunities offered by macroalgae to contribute to blue economy are considerable. Seaweeds have the potential to play an important role in addressing many of our most significant challenges. Development of sustainable biomass production by implementing seaweed cultivation in the region will allow coastal and non-coastal populations to benefit from this breed but still not very long research.